Okay, hi guys. Uh, just going to give you the 2015 update on the garden. Linda's going to give you a tour. There's a step uh, she was just working on. So we're going to start with the steps because uh, the steps were in absolute ruin. And uh, I guess when uh, when we go to edit the video, we'll put in uh, pictures of the steps as it was. It's was really horrible. All along here has been patched and all along the side has been patched and then I painted it and covered it with a concrete sealer so now it actually looks like it belongs this area hasn't changed too much the uh, parsley came back from last year and a tiny bit of lemon balm the really the really big thing is this, uh, this bush is coming back big time. This, uh, this bush has been three years trying to recover from, uh, from motor oil that was poured in it, uh, over five years ago. And of course, anybody who remembers the original picture, this strip will, will remember that, uh, when we started, it was nothing but, uh, really pale concrete like soil and this year we have this year we have active strawberries in their second year and there are a lot plenty of little strawberries and I can see two or three that are ready to be eaten oh yeah this one definitely this one definitely need to be eaten today it's really soft <laughs> My attempt at a, at a fairy pot was great until the squirrels got to it. <laughs> <laughs> this is uh, this is red vein sorrel. This makes for great salad material, stew material, and uh, guinea pigs also like it a lot. My pretty pots. I have the fern that was growing out of the steps. This was actually literally growing out of the concrete steps, and now it's in a pot where it should be. And there's a, <clears throat> a variegated bush here that's doing really well, coming back nicely. The lemon balm is about to flower. And I have some red leaf sorrel here that's about to flower too, and I'll, I'll just let that go to flower. I would like to give the bees as many possibilities as possible, as many choices possible in my garden. Another couple of strawberries here with the ripening berries. Yeah, I'm and up here, sure. lots of strawberries. Up here, even a flower left. My contained pot of mint. <clears throat> the mint used to be on the other side in the ground and it just about took over before I ripped it out. Blueberries. That are uh, blueberries that are plumping up nicely. This is actually valerian, keeping this for uh, for the roots. This would be my valerian tea to help me sleep. <clears throat> I didn't get a whole lot of blueberries on this one this year. I think because I didn't fertilize it very well, but it's got lots and lots of leaves, so it's pretty healthy. And on the other extreme, there are lots of blueberries on this one, but the leaves are really, really tiny which I think uh, is probably due to the fact that there is not enough soil in the pot. But we should get lots of blueberries, tasty little blueberries. And here's my, my little pot of tarragon, and it's getting ready to flower. I've already harvested a generous amount off of this, 
and then I'll let it go to flower. The miniature rose bush, which was on the side of the house where it had no light, is just exploding. I need to deadhead that. And that'll keep on flowering right through summer. Ah, and I see a flower on the nasturium. <clears throat> this nasturium, this pot of nasturium is just dinner plate size leaves. And here are some beautiful orange flowers starting. I'll be able to stuff those with sausage. Um, actually, maybe we better do the, the herb spot and then come back. There's so, there's so much to see. Mm -hmm. Okay, down here, lemon balm, huge amounts of lemon balm. And then a raspberry which has babies on it. A uh, Brussels sprout in the back. What of the leaves on it? Yeah, after three years, I finally got it right and the Brussels sprouts are actually growing. <clears throat> this back here is a native of Oregon. It's a salmon berry. Um, it didn't flower this year, but it's still really a really little tiny baby. Uh, this pot has <laughs> this pot has the uh, the strawberry that's been struggling for years. This strawberry was actually in the ground in this plot, got rototilled, and came back, so we put it in the pot. And there are a couple of other strawberry plants in that planter too. This is another uh, this is another Oregon native. It's it's more of a sun. It's a it's a little nutka rose, and I'll put that somewhere in the front in the front plot. <clears throat> Huge amounts of chamomile. <laughs> I love this chamomile. Beautiful and the bees love it. <clears throat> Scattered throughout you'll see more of the uh, more of the red vein sorrel. The rosemary is huge because we did not have a hard winter. The sage is massive. But I don't see a whole lot of uh, I don't see a whole lot of flowers on the sage a few. There may be more. Chives. Uh, a few tarragon, but they didn't fare very well in the soil. <clears throat> Another huge plot of lemon balm. Then uh, the thyme is flowering. She's going nuts. Parsley. And more parsley in a tiny pot. <clears throat> um, I can't remember what this is. I plucked it out of the ground. I have the weirdest tendency to take stuff out of the ground. I have no idea what it is and just pot it up. Eventually it'll come out. It's not, there are no thorns on it. So I think it's actually a tree. It might be a walnut. <clears throat> Valerian in the back. Some of them are, are very small. This one's pretty big. Uh, another pot of valerian here. Another couple of uh, these. These are asters, and they should be going in the ground here in, in another day or so. They're teeny tiny now, but once they get uh, once they get settled in the ground, they'll go nuts. <clears throat> um, two pots of pomegranates. Believe it or not, they actually survived. I have no idea. Usually, I thought pomegranates for sure were only a warm weather plant, but these have come back. Um, they're not very big. Dill, chard, and uh, something that came in a in a package of lettuce seeds. Uh, more red leaf sorrel, and then the strawberries. Oh, and the or, uh, the oregano. Nice little patch of oregano down here. <clears throat> so as you can see, we've got huge amounts. That whole herb patch is just nicely filled up now. And a lot of it should reseed itself. Mm. 
I planted an en- I planted an enormous amount of squash this year. This is this is a squash that's getting ready to vine. I think this is one of the summer squashes. And over there, uh, there you go. Snow peas. Two really big pots of them. <clears throat> I decided to just let the artichoke go to flower. These artichokes taste disgusting. Absolutely disgusting. But they make beautiful flowers. <laughs> they are the sourest, bitterest artichokes I've ever tasted in my entire life. <clears throat> my test batches of carrots. These are actually all going... All all these four pots will get uh, replanted into the hydroponic system. And we'll see how they go. Outside here are more... Uh, that's squash. There's an eggplant. Uh, more healthy eggplant. <laughs> and more squash. <clears throat> right down here is another one of the uh, little variegated bushes. I'd really like for uh, I'd really like for that to, to catch on. Another squash. And imagine this. Another squash. <laughs> More squash. The corn, I got, I actually got uh, four, four stalks of corn to actually grow this year. And they're a little, a little smaller than I'd really like. I don't think they'll actually become anything huge. And squash, squash. <laughs> Another snow pea in with the corn because I, I read they actually help each other. Brussels sprout, Brussels sprout, and a massive Brussels sprout. This one, this one is probably going to be the biggest Brussels sprout possible. Suits me. And the rest is all squash. The squash is a mixture of winter acorn squash, summer squash, patty pan squash, and butternut squash. Tiny little guy over here is uh, is doing pretty well. It actually uh, it came out with some new leaves, and I put some mulch underneath it. It's going to require lots and lots of water during during the uh, heat of the summer, but it's doing all right. The rose from the side of the house. Some of you may be re- may remember the uh, the battle I had trying to get this rose to survive, and it's actually flowering very nicely now. And I did have a problem with the. Uh, in the cool, wet weather, we had a problem with powdery mildew, and it's still affecting it. But it's coming out with some pretty nice flowers, so I think it's going to survive here. And the mint patch all around, all around the compound. This is definitely the place for mint around the composter. Mint makes fantastic compost. And also seems to like fantastic compost. Yes, yes it does. And it can dig in, it can spread, do whatever it wants over here. It won't hurt anything. I'm still getting a few remnants of the alfalfa I planted, but uh, it won't last long. Oh, I didn't do the kiwi and the uh, ostrich fern. Yeah, let's go take a look at those. These are a new addition. The two kiwis are actually surviving. And they're vining nicely. They're still pretty delicate though. This is... This down here is a, a shade perennial um, lungwort. It'll come out with some nice little, with some nice little flowers. And behind the lungwort, behind the lungwort is a nice big ostrich fern. <clears throat> really big. And a few. I'm not sure if these are actually going to turn into kiwis or not, but uh, it actually did produce a few flowers. 
And since it's called a candy kiwi, the, 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 the kiwis should be really small if they actually come out with kiwis. I think that's about it. Our, our shade patch didn't, isn't really productive. It, there's really nothing I can do with it. It's looking a lot better though. It's looking better. I'm still piling compost and mulch in it and it's a little messy, but uh, the only thing that seems to grow are these uh, are these lovely little shade lovers right there. And even there, at the, they are at the end of their season. I really didn't do anything. Uh, too much else. Um, that's a lot. But it's looking much better than uh, than it has the past couple of years. The herb box is all filled up now, and I've got lots and lots of containers, which I really like. Mm -hmm. Okay, well that's it for now. Hope you enjoyed it. <laughs>